question and day before yesterday's lesson, like, um, sorry, letter writing, letter formal and informal, we have not gone through, though, we'll be going through it later on, and you can manage on your own as well. Uh, formal, le le let's, in order to begin with, I'll just try to sum up formal and difference between formal So can you see the word file here? No, I, I want some of you to assist me every time I ask a question with the response, please. Can you? Sir. Okay. Now I don't want any disturbance from outside noises. Begin with the formal and informal. Probably there is a high chance that you will be asked a formal letter, but informal can equally be asked 50 50. Informal letter, formal letter. Uh, I hope all of you have got the format yesterday that I have provided. In formal letters, we have subject. In informal, we don't. And always remember, don't ever translate what you have learned in Nepali. Like whenever you begin your letter with, you begin uh, in Nepali, Miro Piaro Bhai Mahesh, and you tend to translate that into English. Dear brother Mahesh, dear Mahesh, or dear brother in English. We don't write, we don't write dear brother Mahesh in English. And remember, there is no such word called respected in English letters. Always either informal, always either sir or dear sir. And talking about standard English, we do not write dear Mahesh. So if any of you are uh, appearing in IELTS or TOEFL exam later, it will be of little helpful. As, this will be little helpful as well. We do not write the first name. However, we write. The surname. Sorry, my tea has arrived, therefore. So we always write the sir first name. And as I have said, immediately after uh, writing your address, write subject, include subject. And in subject, you don't have to write a complete sentence. Always you can, if you have a problem in writing the subject, you can write, begin with, always begin with, regarding, Suppose if you are writing to the school principal, uh, asking him for three days leave regarding a three day leave. This much will be sufficient. And we'll go to we'll go, go to some examples as well. As I have not started out the examples for today's lesson, we'll go to it some other lessons. And because some of you have requested me to repeat the lessons right from the beginning. So we are the grammar section again. Will that be all right? Will it be all right? Yes, sir. And some scratches. Uh, let me share another screen. 
les épaules. Laisse couler d'amour. So if this slide go on with it. And talking about articles, before we go to the slide, let's we use article A. Article A is used in in front of our in front of a singular table noun starting with a vowel sound. An article A is used in front of a with a vowel sound. We don't always go for the alphabet. It's like an apple. Obviously, except A, E, I, O, U also, there are other alphabets that are pronounced as vowel when they start in, when they start in usually in abbreviation and we use an. We'll come to that a little uh, later. Table noun starting with the vowel sound. And then we use, sorry, we use an in front of a singular count table noun starting with a vowel sound of a singular count table noun starting with a consonant. Sound. And besides these, there are, are certain alphabets like starting from a b c d to z a b c d e f g h i j k l m n r x r s and x there are these alphabets when we have have abbreviations beginning with these alphabets we use we normally use n once again a, B, C, D, E, F, H, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, M, N, P, Q, R, S, X. If there are abbreviations, do they look Consonant, but we use an vowel. And this is very, very important from the point of view of your exam. If you know this, usually one mark is in your pocket. F, H, L, M, N, R, S, X, like. We'll come now. Let's go to the example. an engineer, an ugly duckling, an urgent message, an uncle. And I would like you to copy all these, especially the questions. And 
nut and utensil section. The articles that are used with right hand side sections are very, very important. Eh? A you, a European, a eucalyptus tree, a one eyed man, a one way ticket, a utensil, a unicorn, a union, a uniform, a usage, a university. Especially the question is asked, there are three important words like this a you, one, a European. This, these have been frequently asked question a university. A one-eyed man. Got it. Shall we move on to the next? Yes, now see, we have talked just now, beginning with S and SOS message and SP and SSP and MA and MBA. <laughs> And there are every week starting with consonant sound as well. A UFO, not an UFO. My how far am I today? A UNESCO building. A UNESCO building. A TOEFL. A TOEFL score. Uh, I'll add one here. I just remember. And an IELTS exam. An I for an I. An entrance. Like when we have abbreviations starting with H, L, M, N, R, S, X. And most of the time they take N. It's not the alphabet that determines, but it's the sound that the alphabets carry that determine whether we keep A or N. And this word can also be asked. the usage of dot this time. Uh, now, I am always in a mess what to start with when I have to revise. Okay. Uh, let's begin with 
Koita, where is the file? Don't know why screen share is not going on well. There is always a technical problem. So can you see the word file? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's begin with the uh, is left. I'll prepare another slide for the usage of the. I have it here in my laptop, but I don't know where it is. So it will just consume time. Let's not waste our time. Let's begin with uh, Yeah, questions. If a statement is positive, negative question tag, if a statement is negative, positive question tag, the first rule, but this doesn't apply in sentences starting with let us and let's this doesn't apply in let's and let us whether the statement is negative or positive always either will you or shall we now let's move into some important questions. Uh, let me arrange myself in the easiest way. Uh, number one. I'm a teacher. Aren't I? Sorry, I'm a teacher, aren't I? And if the verb is teacher, next one, the presence of presence of. In a sentence, makes the sentence negative. Rarely, barely. He seldom does his homework. Sorry. He seldom does his homework. He seldom goes to school. Let's say he seldom goes to school. Why? Because the presence of these words make the sentence negative. Hardly, barely, barely, seldom, never. And some books even treat often as negative sometimes. And the apostrophe D plus rather.
don't I? This apostrophe D is followed by rather means this apostrophe D is would. I would, don't I? I would rather not go there alone, would I? The exam must show the question in a only ferry. You want the bite of our so then. So please pay attention. Apostrophe D plus that's not apostrophe anyway. Sometimes apostrophe D plus better may be followed by B1 and sometimes by B3. We use good deep question tag had done. If the statement is negative, then I would better not go there alone had I. Sachin, where is Sachin? Sachin Lama, and the Sachin Tamrakar. Sachin Lama, because he has a beer in Okay. And now next one. Uh, I has have used the same form of have has had. I have written a letter, haven't I? She has hasn't she? They did it. Sorry, they have means it is followed by it have has had is followed by b3 if I has had b3 then we use the same form of have has had in question tag. If have has had is followed by P, have is followed with P, done. In question number eight, has it had is followed by P3, done. And we use the same form of, we use the same form of, of add in the question. Whereas if have has had is not followed by B3, have has had, they are called auxiliary verb. Why? Because they are used in making perfect tenses or perfect continuous. But if have has had is not followed by B3, then we use do, don't I? She had to go there. He didn't see.
has to do it himself present him so this difference is very very important mm -hmm. and followed by v3 the questions of this type are important now have a look on them So is it okay? Now who is this sending messages in the chat? So Ganesh is requested. Are you asking me, Ganesh? Are you asking me to mute my mic? No, sir. I'll give it and gone this week over to sound I like it and then my request. Okay. 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 Now, next one. Uh, then we have. This is proposal. And when we have LET apostrophe S yes, always, shall we? When we have LET apostrophe S yes, always shall. When we have LET US yes, always. Why? Because number 12 is proposition. You are proposing someone. Number 13, you are asking for the permission. So shall we go for, for once revision of these? If negative statement, positive question tag. If positive statement, negative question tag. But that doesn't apply in let's and let us. And uh, words like hardly, seldom, rarely, barely, never. They make the sentence negative. So positive question tag. I apostrophe D. I would rather... If it is apostrophe D is followed by rather, it means always would. If apostrophe D is followed by better, if it means always had. And uh, if have has had is followed by V3, use the same form of have has had. Otherwise, use do does did. And have has had can have two question tags. For example, let's look at number 14. As possessive also and as a main verb also. I have a pin. I have a pin. Haven't I? I have a pin. Don't I? As a possessive, haven't I? But as a, if you take it as the only verb present there in the sentence, main or principal verb in the sentence, then don't I? Both are correct. I have a pin. You. Possess the pen. It's yours. It's mine. Haven't I a pen? I have a pen. Don't I have a pen? Both are correct. And then we have another question, uh, another type of question in question tag, beginning with uh, indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronoun.
somebody everybody english for the words ending in one my god how are my sathi words ending in one every one no one non anyone someone and words ending in thing everything nothing something anything etc they can be plural as well indefinite pronouns can be plural like some uh, like some few and if always remember that we these indefinite pronouns in a sentence then they always take singular verb in a sentence always take sorry they always take singular verb i just they always take singular they always take singular it's different now let's move each just a minutes break you can keep on having a look they always take singular subject is sorry singular verb in a sentence but their uh, question tag is different like somebody is singular verb is has was plays somebody is watching us nobody new the truth please bear the punctuation okay nobody truth anybody can do this anyone can do this everybody knows the answer means they all take singular verb in a sentence everyone writes a good letter everyone writes good letters someone is happy none is present today no one is looking sad means all these indefinite pronouns take singular verb in a sentence never a plural but in question tag in question tag when we have indefinite pronouns like this we always use the pro, uh, 
and because we use pronoun they, whether we use do, does, did, or uh, plural verb, do, did, whether we use which plural verb we, we use, determined by the tense of the sentence. Somebody is watching us. Aren't they? Aren't they watching us? Nobody knew the truth. Nobody knew the truth. Did they? We always keep they at the end. Anybody can do this. Can't they? Everybody knows the answer. Don't they? Everyone writes a good letter. Don't they? Don't they write? Someone is happy. Aren't they? No one is present today. Are they? Why? Because none is already negative. No one is looking sad. No one is looking sad. Are they? No one is looking sad. No one is looking sad. Don't they? No. Are they? Confused sometimes. With few, we use are depending on whether that few refers to singular or plural. Several are, though they are indefinite pronouns. Now, knowing this much means you are at least able to attempt a question in, asked in question tag. And if we have ought to, ought, May, may and so on. So these are among the frequently asked questions and probably question will always be asked from one of these topics in question tag sections. Our, let me check if I have some slides or not, some other materials or not, okay? I'm looking for the files. Uh, I'm searching for the file. Wait for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to share this and you don't have to copy the questions, just copy the, so write down the answers. Wait for me to share the file. I'll close this because there are too many applications working at the same time. So the computer tends to be rather little slow. Uh, 
So can you see the, can you read the first sentence to me? Sam is playing football. Just write down the answer. Later on, I'll be saying the answers. Read the question, write the answer. Rather than going through doing the not more helpful number three open the window now much time when I move on to I move on to question number four. Three should I have already done. Okay. Get the phone for me done. One of you just volunteer, turn your mic on. Okay, Srijana, you turn your mic on. Sir. So Okay, now number five, let's dance together. Done? Yes, answer. sir. I'm late. Answer. Yes, sir. <coughs> One is this. Object means. So the other one is this part. So where do you keep? And when we have two parts like this, we usually keep question tag to the complete sentence, complete sentence pendant clause. I believe is dependent clause, group of words clause. And he want object to our plan is a complete sentence. E sense consist of he said he will come sorry he said that he would meet me now if the, this if the sentence is a reported speech like this then we put question tag in the verb we use to report suitable question tag addressing this verb that we keep here. He said that he would come to meet me, didn't he? He reported that, didn't he? He says that, not. This part, not this part, but if it is, this is only a phrase. To this part. If you are a ever asked a question like this. Understood? Understood? Yes, sir. If the question is a reported indirect, uh, sorry, indirect speech, we use question tag especially to the verb used in reporting. Whereas if the sentences consist of two parts, I believe, I think then we usually keep question tag to the complete sentence rather than the phrase. Now do the rest. And somebody
Somebody ordered a drink. What is the difference between the two sentences? Some is a sentence like Ram ordered a drink. Somebody order a drink means it's a command when followed by comma. Somebody, now I'm sitting at the restaurant uh, and there are some other friends around. Drink order. Means it's a command. The second, did they? Somebody order this? Will it? Would you? Number 15, differences in the two sentences? Would you, sir? Of a question, Swarni Logbog, Etineo. Okay, I'm going to go after the sort of now. Have you completed right uh, answering all the 21 qu 20 questions? Yes, sir. Okay, now let's go through the answers. Okay. Playing football, the first apostrophe means. It is followed by ing form of the verb. So it's is. Sam is playing football. Isn't he? Sam's gone to his school. Here, a word for yes he's is as. Why? Because it's followed by V3. Sam's gone to his school. Hasn't he? Open the window. Will you get the phone friends together? Shall we? I'm late. Aren't I? She seldom comes late. She seldom comes late. Does she? I have hardly met your uncle. Have I? Why? Because hardly makes the sentence negative. negative. So positive. 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 I've hardly met your uncle. Have I? Everything looks good, isn't it? Everyone has haven't they? I believe you won't object to our plan. Will he already? He would come to Arantai. Nobody came. Did they? Somebody ordered a drink. Somebody ordered a drink. Did they? Everybody was upset. Weren't they? Wouldn't. Wouldn't? Wouldn't. Weren't they? Why weren't? We keep they first, right? Because it's an indefinite pronoun. And it was was in the sentence, but they require a so plural verb. So everybody was upset. Weren't they? I would rather do it myself, wouldn't I? I'd better done it myself, hadn't I? Nobody. Do they? Nobody shows any interest. Do they? Let us either dance or together. Will you? Each one is happy, aren't they? So nine. Shows any interest? Nobody shows any interest. Do they? Direct indirect speech ma indirect speech ma he said I am hungry. He said that he was hungry. He said yeah do it apart salaira. Yo question number eleven or twelve erewani. You euda poilo highlight gorego, euda part. You euda part. I believe, no, orko. I believe it will rain soon. It will rain soon. 
एवढा पार्ट आय बिलिव्ह आय थिंक एवढा पार्ट यो यस्तो आयो भने चाहिँ नि यो जुन ब्लूमा हाइलाइट गरिएको छ नि यो ब्लूमा लेखिएको पार्टमा क्वेश्चन ट्याग लाग्छ किन बिकज दिस इज ओन्ली अ सेन्टेन्स जस्तो आई बिलिभ आई थिंक आई अजुम दॅट इज ओन्ली अ पार्ट अफ सेन्टेन्स नट अ कम्प्लिट सेन्टेन्स त्यो कम्प्लिट सेन्टेन्स भएन त्यही भएर त्यसमा लाग्दैन क्वेश्चन ट्याग तर रिपोर्टेड स्पिच इनडाइरेक्ट स्पिचमा छ सेन्टेन्स ही सेड दॅट ही माय ग्रँड फादर द डॉक्टर सेड टू माय ग्रँड फादर डोंट स्मोक द डॉक्टर फरबेड माय ग्रँड फादर फ्रॉम स्मोकिंग फरबेड यो इनडाइरेक्ट स्पिच हो भने यदि सेन्टेन्स इनडाइरेक्ट स्पिचमा छ भने वी युज द भव इन इनडाइरेक्ट वी युज क्वेश्चन ट्याक टू द सुइटेबल टू द भव इन इनडाइरेक्ट स्पिच यति हो बुझियो यो पार्टेको पार्टमा होइन कि यो पार्टमा चाहिँ क्वेश्चन ट्याक लाग्छ जैसे डी उड यो अपोस्ट्रफी डी प्लस साहै कन्फ्युज हो भने एउटा क्वेश्चन छोडदेऊ सयमा उनान सय त गऱ्यो नि के भयो हन्ड्रेड फुल मार्क्स हुन्थ्यो भने नाइन्टी नाइन भयो वाई वरी सो मच रेदर भयो भने आई वुड रेदर डु इट माइ सेल्फ वुडन्ट आई बेटर डु इट माइ सेल्फ हेडन्ट आई बेटर इज समटाइम्स फलोड बाई भी थ्री और समटाइम्स फलोड बाई भी वन बोथ आर करेक्ट बट बोथ टेक्स हेड बुझ्यौ नि हजुर सर तिमीलाई सोध्ने क्वेशनमा भनेको यति हो के नेगेटिभ सोध्ने एकैछिना याद भइहाल्छ नि सेल्डम पहिले काही अप्सन पनि सोधिन सक्छ अल्फाबेटिकली अरेन्ज गरेर एच पहिला आउँछ सरी पहिला आउँछ त्यसपछि एच त्यसपछि एन आर त्यसपछि एस एकैछिन सम्झिहाल्यो त and if this sentence if these words are there in a sentence then they make a sentence negative use positive question tag by go ab isma i apostrophe d rather i when he wouldn't there would i i would rather do it myself would i when wouldn't nahi i would rather not do it myself would at you la ab let's do is what he immediately after reading question tag if we go 
then to transformation that would be better but i think it's almost time so we'll do it in our next lesson we'll changing of sentence from affirmative to negative negative to interrogative interrogative to negative or affirmative so on and have a great day Thank you, sir. have a great day Thank you.